Hey guys, this is Will Ma, the instructor of MIT 15.S50, the poker class here. So right now I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to download and install and register at PokerStars. This is the software we're going to be using to play online poker for fictitious money in the class. Um, so yeah, it's very important that you do this because um, for all the prizes and all the passing and failing people in the class depends on your performance in this league. So how it works is we're going to download the software and I've set up a private league for only MIT students. So when you log on to play poker, you're only going to be playing against other members of the class. You're not going to be playing against random people online. So, okay, so this is how you download it. You go to www.pokerstars.net. You go there. We wait a bit for it to load and you click download. So this is all fairly self-explanatory, but I'm just going to walk you through it because I think it'll make people feel better. So, um, so yeah, so it'll ask you to download it. You keep it. Um, there is going to be a Mac version. If you see here, if you have a Mac instead of Windows, it says Mac users, go to your Mac download page. So if you're using a Mac, go there instead of just downloading the first thing that it that comes up. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for it to download. Okay, so now we go to downloads and we just click it to install. So there's nothing tricky. Um, I'm just guiding through it because I think it'll make people feel better if they get to see someone else do it. And of course, you can email me if there's any questions. So, right, so we just run it. Um, you want to install it in English. You click I agree and click next. Just do express install. It'll definitely be um, what you want. And then you just click install and you wait for it to install. So I think um, a bunch of you guys might know that PokerStars is the software you can use to play for real money. And um, yes, that is true, but now in the United States, um, we're no longer allowed to play on PokerStars for real money. So, and in this class, I'm not allowed to endorse gambling anyway. <laughs> so, um, we're just going to be playing for fictitious money, which is why it's called PokerStars.net instead of PokerStars.com, because .net means there's no gambling involved. That's what the site means. So then we just launch. Okay, so we can close Internet Explorer now. So we're just launching PokerStars. Might take a while the first time to install some updates. Wow, my computer is being pretty slow. Um, yeah, it's taking a while, but um, we can hang in there. But yeah, so every time you want to, every time you want to play poker, you just start up this software. Um, so it'll say a newer version of the software is available, so you always got to update it to, to sign in. So we just wait. It shouldn't take this long. I think right now my stupid computer is installing some updates. So like I have to wait a long time because it's also installing updates. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to register an account on PokerStars. So you click login and you're going to click create new account. Okay. So user ID. Um, you can technically pick anything you want, but because you're in this class, I'm going to ask that you make your user ID your real name because it's got to be easy for myself and other members of the class to easily identify you. You know, if they met someone in the class named Bob Brown, it'll be nice if they can, if your name online is also Bob Brown so that when they go home, they know that they're playing against the same person they met in class that day. So I'm gonna ask that everyone make their user ID what your real name is. No names like, you know, like Pink Dragon or whatever you're into. So let's suppose my name is Nora. Um, that's not a very common name, so I can just make my name Nora N. Um, so my last name begins with N. Okay, and 
at the end of your user ID, um, I would ask maybe do something like underscore MIT. Let's do that so that we're all unified and everyone, it's clear that everyone is from MIT and it brings unity to all the students in the class. So just make, make your nickname something corresponding to your name um, underscore MIT and choose a password. Um, I'm just going to make my password. It doesn't really matter. Um, Okay, and the next, oh, okay, so that didn't work. Um, I made my password ASDF, ASDF, that didn't, it didn't like that. Okay, I'll add a number eight to the end. Okay, so you need to give a bit of information about your full name. Um, all right, so we get to the personal information page. So just enter your stuff. This is self-explanatory. Note that the starred fields are optional, so you don't have to tell them your street address or your date of birth if you don't want to. Uh, make sure you enter a valid email because you need to verify it to activate your account. So I'm going to just do this now and pause the video and then so that I don't reveal the private information of anybody. And then I'll meet you on the next screen. Okay, so the last screen that I skipped, it asks you to verify that you're at least 18, so you just do so, and then you get here. Um, it doesn't really matter, just take a few seconds, select something. There is no marketing code, just can move on. Um, you, oh, it asks you to, okay, if you, I guess if you pick a search engine, you gotta specify the search, en search engine. Um, yeah, so you gotta click that you've read and understood the end user agreement, that's fine. And, okay, then you gotta do this. Um, Okay, and okay, so then we're done. Okay, now you got to go to your email and find the activation email and click OK before your account can be activated. All right, so we click the link in the email we received, and then it'll redirect us to a page that looks like this and it's gonna say external protocol request and you just click launch application and what's gonna happen is PokerStars will pop up and you should already be logged in at PokerStars anyway at the moment and it'll say thank you your email address has been verified so good now we're all set and we're ready to play some poker um, so you click to join the MIT private league click home games and click join a poker club and the club ID is the club ID is 557832, so type that, and you, your, the invitation code for everybody is engineers. And you should type your real name exactly the way it is written in your MIT registration. So assuming you're a student registered in the class, the name you type here should match exactly the name, your official MIT name. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and type that in, but I'm going to move it off the screen. But you should type it in. So, you know, even if you want, I, I guess you don't have to type in your, you don't have to type in your legal name. You can just type in the name that people will know you by. Because the point of the name is so that I can look at you and know who you are. So even if your legal name is some strange um, non-English name, you can just make your name Bob if your name is Bob or whatever. So, um so yeah, you type it in and then you click I agree to the terms and conditions and you click join club. Okay, so now as you can see, you have to, you have to, um, ex uh, I, you have to wait for me, the club manager, to accept your application before you become a member. But I'm going to go do that right now and accept you. Um, just hang on, I'm going to accept you. So... So I'm still waiting for the for for your request to come through. All right. All right. So once you're accepted, your status here will change from applied to member. And then you just double click and you can open up the club, which is MIT 15.S50. So um yeah, you can click you can click club home here you can see the list of all members so right now there's not there's no no one here yet because I haven't posted this video but eventually everyone in the class will join 
and there's also a wall you can write messages on the wall whatever just for fun um, schedule so here you see at the bottom are the tournaments um, there's a tournament schedule for every single day and it's the same for every single day and these are tournaments that you can play in for play money and um, these are the, are the tournaments where um, to pass the class you gotta do a certain you gotta obtain a certain number of points in these tournaments don't worry if you don't obtain the required number of points I won't fail you but you'll have to write some kind of report explaining how oh you got unlucky blah 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 so it's so it's just to encourage everyone to play lots of tournaments and try to acquire the required number of points so that um, people play people want to play a lot um, you can sort by date to sort it in in increasing times and it's the same schedule every day uh, yeah and um, also you can click standings to see rank everyone in the class by how many points they have so I want this to be a fun experience for everyone I want it to be somewhat competitive but I want it to be fun and I, I hope you guys have fun competing against each other making sick reads on each other and stuff like that so there will also be lots of prizes in terms of personal coaching from pros who are going to come come down to MIT to visit me during the class and also subscriptions to poker magazines and stuff like that there's going to be very good prizes for the people who obtain the most points I'm going to explain this in more detail during the class but um, yeah so this is the tournaments and I hope everyone enjoys playing them this is where you see the schedule up top you can also see some cash games um, this is mostly just for fun. This doesn't really count for any tournament points, but you can challenge other members of the class to play heads up or, you know, get a six-handed cash game going for fun against other members of the class. Results is where you click to see all the past tournaments and see who won them. Um, there's nothing there yet because no tournaments have take, has taken place. Um, standings I already explained. Okay, so it's important that I think everyone should go to options and you should probably click I do not wish to receive emails from this poker club um, if you I'm gonna make all the necessary announcements and you're probably gonna receive a lot of random emails from this poker club if you don't check it you can um, you can leave it unchecked if you want to get all the emails but it's probably not that important you can definitely check it and also um, you should check show my real name in the club member list um, so that other people can see you like I said I want this to be a social experience for everyone you know I want everyone to know each other's names you, I want everyone to know who your opponents were online so that the next day when you go to class you can meet them and say oh wow hey man you made a sick read on me or something like that I hope this is a social experience for everyone I hope people enjoy playing poker with each other because poker is a very fun game to talk about and just have a good time so anyways um this will conclude my tutorial for how to set up poker stars um, there are a bunch of options you can go through them but I, w I looked at the default options and they seem pretty good so I actually recommend changing none of the default options the default options are very good another thing you can you'll you might find curious is if you click account you can't select change image which kinda sucks um, It'd be nice if everyone can get their picture next to their name when they're sitting at a table online, but there's some weird rule for poker stars where you can't change your image when you're not playing for real money or something. But anyways, so this is the end of the tutorial, and I will explain more in class about how tournaments work and points work and stuff like that. And yeah, and don't worry, the software is very easy to use. So when you actually join the tournament and sit down at the table, I don't really need to make another tutorial for that because it's very obvious. There will be big buttons that say fold or bet or raise or whatever like that. So anyways, okay, see you guys.